Welcome to Basic Micro, and welcome to our video on auto-tuning. In this video, we'll be covering how to use the auto-tuning feature inside Motion Studio for both velocity and position control. Before we begin the auto-tuning routine, we need to handle a few things. First, we need to make sure the motors and encoders are wired properly. In this tutorial, we are using a pair of gear motors with quadrature encoders. The following diagram shows how to wire the motors and encoders to the motor controller. Also, both encoders must count in a positive direction when rotating in the forward direction. Please see the tutorial for instructions on how to check for this. Now we'll start the process of tuning for velocity control. Click on Velocity Settings on the left hand side of the application. Now look at the section labeled Auto Tune. To start the tuning process, click on Tune M1 or Tune M2 depending on which channel you would like to tune. A window will pop up warning you that the motors will move. Click OK to start the auto-tuning routine. The motor being tuned will move for a few seconds and then the P, I, and D values will be populated from the calculated results of the test. Repeat this process if you need to tune a second motor channel. This completes all the steps needed for auto-tuning a motor and encoder for velocity control. We'll now start the process of auto-tuning for position control. Click on position settings on the left hand side of the application. The steps required to auto-tune position are similar to tuning for velocity, but there is one big difference. Note that above the auto-tune button is a drop-down that contains three options. The drop-down shows the types of tuning routines available for position control. Of the three methods available, PIV and PD are recommended. Once tuned, PIV tuning tends to result in a softer response to changes in position, while a PD tune system is a bit firmer. Full PID tuning using the I integral should be reserved for those with a little more experience in hand-tuning PID systems. In a later video, we will cover the full PID system in more depth. Since the QPSS value is already populated from the previous velocity tuning, no changes to these fields will need to be made. Now, move to the Auto-Tune section of the window. Select the method to use from the drop-down, and then click on Tune M1 or Tune M2. Click OK in the dialog that opens. The Auto-Tune routine will run. Once finished, the values for position P, I, and D will be populated. Finally, after performing either tuning routine, you'll need to test the quality of the tuning parameters and possibly make manual changes. Please see the application note for more details.